Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Ash in the mid lane. We're running Comet, Manaflow, Transcendence, Scorch, Cheap Shot, and Ultimate. We're gonna go the most annoying poke Ash build in the game. Oh, what happened? My Xerath just got a assist, and my top laner died, but three of them are up there. But Xerath is gonna lose some minions, so that's not gonna put him too far ahead. But somebody on my team muted. But anyway, I'm playing the most annoying build in the game because I just press W. It applies Comet Scorch Cheap Shot. It does a lot of damage. Very easy to land. Very fun build. So yeah, thought I'd pull out the Ash for you guys for New Year's because my games lately, I don't know if any of you guys have been playing League this uh, holiday season, but it is. <laughs> my game quality is not the greatest. We're getting Ragers, Tilters, Interscriptors. Everything. So, I'm busting out the ash. Jungle cane. Looks like it's going to be a blue cane with a harvest. So, I don't have um, barrier to survive his ult. So, hopefully he doesn't get fed because he's the only one that's really going to be a huge problem for me. Same by the minions so he doesn't stun me. He can't use his stun. The minion's not dying. Nice! And the wave's pushing towards me is TP, though. I just have to base here. As much as I want to stay and try and get these minions, he's going to teleport right to the turret and push. So I think I lose him regardless. Hmm. I don't think my wave's going to get here in time. I actually do need to stay and pop my potions. <laughs> He's going to think I'm scripting soon. Yeah, I'm trolling. He's just as low as me. I just want the minions, man. Oh my god, he's actually so low. I've got two potions going. He doesn't have flash, so he can't flash stun me. But he's not going to die from getting hit by one W. I need to auto him, too. Hey, war... Oh, my God. I have a Warwick. And he's not going for this. No flash. Get him. Yeah, like, see? This guy gets really fast towards low HP people. And all he has to do is just walk up to this guy. I'm his second passive. I have to tell him to go get him. At least I get an assist now, so that's good. Oh, I get a kill. Nah, I get an assist. But see what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand these people. Like, why queue up for League of Legends if you're not even going to look at your screen? Probably looking at, like, TikTok or something. I don't know. We get Warwick a free kill. That's good. All I'm saying is if I was that low HP and the enemy team had a Warwick, he would already be in my lane. Oh. Okay, he gets another one. He's dead, though. That's not really worth... It is and it isn't. Kane's gonna get more out of that than him, I feel. Okay, anyway, we're gonna go Leandri's... Man immune Leandri's for this build. And it gives us so much poke. Ooh, we have a Nasus. But he's, uh... <laughs> he's losing 0-3 to three already. To be fair, he only died once, though. So. At least my bot lane's winning. But... If you watch my video on my second channel today, which is going to be a Xerath game, you'll see that it uh, doesn't matter if you have a bot lane. What really matters is if you have uh, side lanes. Also, the Teemo climb is in uh, full force if you guys aren't at the new channel yet. I would ult him, but he's like full HP. I kind of want to poke him down first. I don't think we could have killed him. The chance was low there. But yeah, Teemo climbs in full force in the Zwag 3 channel. I'll put the link for it below if you haven't checked it out yet. I already got like over 10 videos on that channel for you guys to watch. Let's see, I can help him, but I also can't. There's a Kled coming. I cannot do anything versus Kled. Oh boy. You know, I'm suffering 
for you guys. You guys get to watch me play League and Suffer instead of playing and suffering yourself. So the least you could do is hit the like button and maybe, maybe, just maybe I'll win this game, okay? I'm going to try my best. The jungler's already died four times, though. He's going for the 240. He's not going for the 420. Why isn't he a 420 weed wick? If he stuns me, I can buffer it with my stun. Unfortunately, his stun actually lasted uh, longer than mine. I think I can still get him. Hour of Ash. Just run him down. I actually didn't think I'd be able to get him. Okay, well, at least Zeret's not having a good game. But the two people that are fed are really the worst ones for me. But at least, I know I at least have a bot lane. I hope. They're bullying poor Susan. I The thing is, I believe in this Susan. He's still going to be strong. He's just going to hit his items a little bit slower than normal. Be strong. And Warwick's actually going for the objective. Perfect. Perfect. Can't complain. Good start. Kled does fall off a cliff. I remember when I do Kled videos, I get really fed on him. And then the game gets like near impossible towards the end. I don't know how or why, it just happens. Kled only has like single target damage, so he can only really kill one person at a time. In a late game, he doesn't even have that much damage. This guy should probably TP. Yeah, it's gonna be a blue cane, super fast. I mean, even, I guess it doesn't matter. Blue cane can get to you easier. But both blue and red cane kind of just automatically kill you as soon as they ult you. Anyway, what are you guys doing for New Year's Eve tonight? I'm having a little party where I'm cooking some steaks for my friends. You guys going out and partying? We staying home. If I wasn't having the, the party at my house, I probably wouldn't go out. I don't really feel like going anywhere. It just snowed today. The bow is my will well, he missed a stun. And as a Zareth main, once he has no stun, he has no life. But he did. Um, I can maybe go by and help him. There's a cannon minion. Oh. Oh, here we go. Kane's gonna press his magical R button. Okay, never mind. Kane had a brain aneurysm. Okay. I'll take it. He must have learned that from Warwick. I mean, even if he ulted there, he actually didn't get me low enough to kill me, so. I would have survived with, like, this much HP, and then I could have flashed his ability or something. Well, he might ult me. Get him, Warwick. I'm sending the dog. Oh, he actually jumped for it. Phew. Fake arrow. You going for it? Yay, jungle dive. Oh, please, not me. Okay. I mean, he resets Eret's gold. He gave him... He didn't give him a shutdown. Sorry. He's hype. My bot lane's like, you guys get to suffer. So, that's good. Rampage. All right, we're going to go Leonji's next. And what's cool about getting the Leonji's is it gives me... Leon, it makes Leonji's give me AD. Because this item gives more AD with mana. Kled might roam bot. Yeah, Kled's going to fall off so hard if he goes full AD. He's going to roam bot and try and kill my bot lane. The thing is, they're doing really good now. They're really strong. They've got bounties. And when Kane and Kled get those bounties or even uh, the enemy bot lane, like Brand, they're going to do a lot of damage again. But I've got my W maxed out. And it shoots a lot of arrows now. And it's on a low cooldown. It's a little slow early game. You don't get a lot of arrows and it, the cooldown's kind of high, but... It works. Hey, this is strong, just with this. I don't even have any attack speed. I just have one item and some cooldown boots and I can just spam this. Zareth's a really easy champion to play this into, though, because he's, uh... Well, if the Zareth played it a little bit better, it would be difficult, but he doesn't have anything to dodge it, and he doesn't have a dash, so once I get him in the slows, he can't get away. Wish you got an assist for revealing people. 
I feel like sometimes you do. Oh, I did. Wait, I thought you don't. I can slow him. Warwick's gonna die if he goes for it. Beautiful. Huh. Well, we're doing pretty solid, I'd say. Oh, did I speak too soon? Nah, we're good. Oh my god. If he ults, I'm gonna ult him. But it won't kill him, unfortunately. Oh, I killed him! It did work! I think Lux hit him with something first. Okay. Oh no! Oh, I actually dodged it for once. <laughs> I'm used to getting hit by- oh my god, okay. Every time I hear the Kled noise, I'm like, please don't be Bob. Please don't shoot me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Okay, Ezreal's. Ezreal is a bit done, I think. Brand's a bit done. Oh my god. I mean, Arnassus, he's only died twice, so it seems like Kled is just killing everyone. I don't even think Kane's going to get anything here. He doesn't have blue form. Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Looks like this is one of those games where the enemy team's going to mental boom. Maybe Nasus did a good thing for himself in muting himself, or I don't know who muted. Saved his mental. He's going to win. Unless Kled goes Hallbreaker and, like, just ends the game. Hee <laughs> I like this Ash skin. The arrows look cool. They're like glowing. They're like purple. I'm waiting for his stun. I'm, that's why I just like randomly turn to the side like this. To dodge his stun if he does throw it. He's dead here. No, Nasus just beat Kled. Well, this will probably be a two-part game. Well, you guys just get more Ash mid. the issue I have with League of Light League sometimes I either get stomps that are like super easy wins or the game goes to like 50 minutes and it takes forever there's not really that many games that are like 25 minutes that are close I don't know I think I'm dead I have to I survive this but I'm gonna be really low Didn't want to have to flash, but I missed the arrow. Mike gets Zareth ulted. Let's see him. If he comes through like the bush, then I'm dead. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh! Oh, got hit. Oh, I died to Leandre's. I did I get burned by Scorch? That's my bad. I should have dodged that one. Hey, I have my Leandre's. How do you flash that when you can just Q? Maybe it's not up. No, it should be up. You just dismount it. Just mount it. I could kill him with arrows since I have Leonji's. But I think his recall's gonna yeah, his recall's gonna go off before the arrow gets there. He might get baited by this uh Lux though. Let's see. Nah, he recalled. Might hit Ezreal at this rate. Oh, he stayed. Okay, it's red cane that goes lethality again. I mean, it's the same thing as blue, just a little bit slower, but he has healing. I was actually somewhat scared of Brand this game if he was going to get fed. Brand is one of those champions. That just gets really strong with just one item. Power spike. If he has flash. No, he dies burn. He's worth 100 gold. This cannon. These two minions right here are equal of Brand. Brand gives more XP, but they actually gave more gold. Oh, wait. What the? Damn, yeah, we went from 0 and 8 to killing spree. Are we throwing? Did I speak too soon? Is I think I might have spoke too soon, guys. It might be a throw angle. 
I don't really like maxing my E second, but I was auto attacking in the middle of fights when I had a skill point, so I put it on Q. But it's it's kind of hard to use your Q on this build because by the time you stack it up, you're not in auto range anymore most of the time. Gods and spirits guide us, but our lives are our own. My poke goes almost as far as his Q. What's nice about this Leandri's build, instead of just going... What's nice about going this Leandri's build is we do a lot of physical and magic damage, so you can't really itemize against this too well. Just barely out of range. Dead. That dismounts him. I just need seven more assists, and then I have a 1-1, one, 1-1-1 one, 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 one score. I have arrow again. Oh my god. Look at like a quarter of his health bar. Did he get hit by something else? Well, Kate, you didn't run fast enough. You got to hit. Oh no, he's gonna come to us. Jeez. <laughs> I'm juking up like five times in a row, man. No. His PTA popped. I want to get to the plant. Oh my god, these Lux lasers. Uh-oh. Somebody's dying here. Oh. He undershot the ult, but I'm pretty sure he destroys Warwick. He won't get Lux though, that's good. Lux has a thousand now. Seven hundred gold bounty. Okay, this might this game may take a bit longer to end, because we are dying. It is forty one to fifteen though. Alright, so after you have the Leandries, there's many different routes you can go. You can go Lethality, you can go Ravenous Hydra, you can go Clearer, you can go more AP if you want, you can go Demonic Burn, which isn't the greatest, but it works. Let me see. They don't have any resistances, so I don't really need Cleaver. I'll go um, Ravenous Hydra. Because it makes the arrows look really cool. The unifies, it is only I actually should have just bought matters. the... If I had enough. Maybe I didn't have enough. Pickaxe and a longsword. Because I don't need the splash damage. I don't auto attack. I just press W. But after this, I'll throw in like a uh, cleaver. He NASA's online. This guy just is like, ooh, a cupcake. Yeah, see? Nasus gets bullied all game. Bonk him. He gets bullied all game, but look, now he's five and two, so. My mother loved me. She fought and died trying to give me a better life. He did. So I fight and will die fighting to get all See, like, Cled thinks he's, like, losing because he doesn't have a team. Which is sort of true, but also he... He could have done more to help them. Or roam with his alt a little bit earlier when he was super fed. But I don't even think he was winning that hard against Nessus. He was actually just getting ganks. I don't really know what happened. I'm just going to press W. I don't even have the mana mute upgrade yet. Arrow cooldown is 37 seconds. Move quickly. Position well, and the battle is won before blood is drawn. Okay, that was a terrible arrow, but like, where is he gonna go? That guy's dead too, maybe? Yes. Yeah. 
Goodbye. We got three super strong poke champs. And we have two front lines that are... I mean, Warwick has eight kills, but I wouldn't even say he's fed. Because Kane has the same amount of items as him. But we have just good front line. Like, Warwick and Nessus are hard to kill. Yoink. He's gonna keep poking. He did half of his health just shooting three W's in there. I don't even have to look when I shoot him. I just have to know what direction I'm shooting him in. I'm gonna hit something. There's so many arrows. They're just consistently getting slowed, burned, poked. Well. I tried to flash auto brand, but I got stuck on something. He's still alive. We have Hydra. We just throw in some lethality at this point. I mean, Axiom Mark's nice. It's not going to give us much refund, but it's not bad to build for the stats it gives. It won't give much refund because we don't have any lethality to go with it. But the game's over, so it doesn't matter. Alright, we got another Ash game. I couldn't get mid this time. But you know what? I actually kind of want to try this top because we've never tried this build top. I've only done it mid, and it can work top. Because even though into a Garen, he's somewhat difficult. He didn't run the phase rush. So I'm a ranged top laner. I'm going to bully him, poke him. If he does get to me, though, I'm going to get one shot. So we got to win early enough that he's not an issue. And that cheap shot hits him pretty hard, too. I mean, early game up is actually better for top lane than uh, mid. Because most mid laners you're against are either going to duel you early or just... Uh, have ranged attacks too, but if this guy turns and fights me, he loses, and if he runs away, he loses all of his HP. Like, Ash top, man. That's disgusting. Okay, I forgot how illegal Ash top was. Does he have TP? No, he doesn't even have TP, he took Ignite. Well, I ruined this guy's League New Year's. But that's just a classic League experience now. I guess the only thing he could have done there is just, like, not even walk up to the wave, because as soon as I start hitting him a few times, he's just dead. And he survived a bit longer than I thought he was. And even though I didn't take any attack speed or anything, I just hurt. And their Hecarim just died at red, so. This might be another quick game. I mean, Garen's not going to be able to play the game. And my bot lane's spinning again. But you know what? We needed some easy wins in our life lately. Just because we've been getting some very frustrating games, so. Hopefully the game quality and stuff gets a lot better, uh. After New Year's, when all the kids got to go back to school. Because I've noticed a huge difference the last two weeks. But I'm excited kind of for the new ranked season to start. But also, I'm actually not the biggest fan of the new items. A lot of people haven't tried them yet, so they don't really know. They've only seen stuff. But they just... Uh, it doesn't feel as well-rounded as their current setup with Mythics and stuff, so... Hopefully I'm wrong, but I, I, I don't have the greatest feeling about the new items. Did I just see a Hecarim down here? Ezreal can probably kill him since he has a Sheen already.
I have a little bit of my energy drink left. Now it's the gone. Goddess Avarosa. I say I hear her voice. I need energy to game and play Ash Top. I'd run him down there, but I probably couldn't kill him. And there's too many minions, I'd lose like half my health bar. But since he doesn't have TP, if I just last hit the minions here, it'll freeze and he'll lose this whole wave. That was a nice W. Um, I'll take these and go in the bush so they lose aggro. Don't hit me too much. And now Garen is in a freeze. I don't know why that minion decided to walk under turret. He just felt like it. Today, the fate of our people hangs in the balance. I missed the minion. This skin puts like grass underneath them when they're slowed. Oh, all right. The enemy team doesn't have a support. It looks like both of them wanted to farm. Seraphine doesn't have a support item. No wonder my bowling's winning. I am a war mother. I have given <laughs> I pop ghost. I run him down. I don't think I'll get him because my. Oh, yeah, I will. Dude. Nah, you die. That is so lame, dude. He really flashed a KS. Like I said, holidays bring out the worst league players. Well, out of spite, if I ever have to save Echo this game, and it's not like a win or lose the game sort of situation, I'm gonna let him die. Ooh, and I lost a cannon, so I'm extra, extra upset. But this is probably gonna be a 15 minute win. Oh, I Scorch got me hit there. I'm dead. I wasn't expecting him to flash Q me. That means he didn't have flash here, although I thought he, uh... thought he used it. Maybe it was just his Q. Either way, it's fine. That's the only way he can kill me, is by flash Q ignite alt. It literally did, like, 80% of my health bar. Oh, he's not even a jungler. He's a mid laner. We have a Ramus jungle. Wow, so the... Oh, yeah, that makes me even more upset then. The guy who wouldn't give me mid flashes to then steal my kill because he didn't like Ash pick. I see. If Garen, like, waits in a bush, he could probably kill me again if he had all, but he's probably basing. They did not choose you. I might have to go Cleaver third instead of, like, the Ravenous we did the other game. It's because Garen's going to have some armor. Oh, nice. He killed Echo. I mean, sucks for my lane now. I got to play against the pet Garen, but... Could have all been avoided if this guy didn't flash to steal a kill. I might die if Hecarim's here. Let me just use this. Dude, my Balian is just, like, running him over, though. They have a free win down there, though. They don't have a support. Well, I'm probably even with Garen, if not a little bit ahead of him. Oh my god, there was a horse. I think... I mean, all I can get is a longsword. I won't reset yet. I hold my heart. 
I gotta poke him down so he doesn't all in me. I'm slow with him. They're gonna end up turning on me though. Echo's a lot more difficult to kill than me. I don't know where our jungler's been, but. The wave is slow pushing, so I kind of lose everything. Nice. I hit someone and I should get assists on all of them. Maybe not Zeri. I don't think I did anything to her. That guy's way too fast. More plating. You want my plating, Echo? You can have some plating. I'll share that. I didn't think my arrow was going to hit. It looked like they were all going to run towards the back of the pit. But Garen, Garen actually... Garen might have gotten another kill there. I don't know what happened. I don't think he did. Because he only has two still. Um, He lost so many minion waves off that, so... That was a really bad roam by him since he didn't get anything out of it. And now I have some W cooldowns, so I can actually poke him. Before, I was only able to W him, like, twice in a fight, because his cooldown's so long. Now, that's a lot faster. Get the Mana Crystal, even though I can afford the book. Right now, the book's only going to make my ult stronger, where the Mana Crystal actually gives me some AD. I don't know how much it gives. I think it's, like, 3, 5, or 7. I don't remember. I mean, Ramus can gank. There's really not much we could do to him, though. Ramus isn't going to do a whole lot of damage because Garen's not going to auto attack. Uh oh. Zeri killed them both. What cannon? He didn't get his W off before the taunt, so he wasn't. And he doesn't have flash because I think he still uses it on me. Good. Alright. I didn't think we'd be able to kill him, but he's actually. Not too tanky. Yeah, I don't know. Their echo flashing to steal the kill just gave me flashbacks of the other day when the Jin flashed to steal the red buff from me. I'm over it now, though. It's okay. He can have the kill. We can get the last plating. Oh, it's a Zeri mid. Man, I'm out of it. I thought Zeri was ADC for some reason, but they got a Caitlyn and a Seraphine. Oh, she got the support item finally. Better late than never. Oh, I could actually watch this. If she's in the bush, she's dead. Wow. I maybe should have shot my E first, but the thing is, by the time the E landed, she would have already been able to finish her recall, or she'd move spots. That was really close, so. She was not standing in the bush, she was standing right next to it. My ult's actually really bad versus Garen, because if he presses W before it hits him, it literally stuns him for like a quarter of a second. I don't know what he's doing. Ekram's not here. But I think Garen still has his flash now. It's probably back up, so he might just try and... Yeah, I'll... Yeah. I don't know if that's going to work at full HP, but... Oh, I guess it might. Nope. Well, that's closer than I thought. If I did get hit by his spin at first... I mean, I still did have flash, but... The thing is, you kind of want to hold your flash when you're low health against Garen, because if you flash any ults, it's gonna... His ult follows the flash, so... It's better to not use it sometimes. Most of the time, it's better not to use it. I mean, I could maybe kill this guy. I'm too low. If he has a... If he has ult, I'm definitely dead. I think we'll do Leandri's into Cleaver, because Cleaver will give me more move speed. 
It'll be really nice first Garen and Hecarim. Plus, it'll give me some HP so I could survive. This is there. Oh, this is going to be another quick game, it looks like. There's two games where I get a winning bot lane, so the game's just like instantly over almost. Nice. I got a kill back. Haha. -ha. Kind of weird how her Q doesn't stack up off a turret. Blessed three sisters, give me strength to endure what I must. Give me courage to fight who I must. Give me knowledge to see the truth. EP Zeri. I haven't uh I haven't played Zeri in a long time. I just don't like playing her because like my pinky hurts when I play her. You guys just mash Q the whole game. Maybe I could like bind it to like right click or something. I don't know. No, because then I gotta move with right click too. I could bind it to something on my mouse. But apparently they gutted AP Zeri. I think it still can one shot people though. Ooh, we got the Leandries. I'll just send an alt down mid as soon as I base. He, he's too squishy to fight me now. He has to flash all in me and kill me within like three seconds or he just loses. Pew. Oh, I'll just alter. Echo can kill her if this hits. Oh my god, she's going to be stunned for like an hour actually. Nice. Steal the kill from him. I wish the E did damage. They should make the E do, like, a little bit of damage. Oh. Yeah, I think the enemy team is a bit mentally checked out. Hello, Garen. How do you like being slow? Damn, he can't even get to me. Imagine if I went, like, Swifties. Yeah, they're pretty dumb. And there it is. GG. Well, sorry I couldn't get, like, some super entertaining games for you guys, but I think I do well with the commentary, just, like, listening and stuff. But, yeah, I mean, it's around New Year's, so not everybody's going to be watching the videos anyway. Everyone's out partying, hanging out with family, friends, whatnot. But if you are here watching my videos, we're here together, so... You are not alone. I hope you guys have a a great New Year's though, and I can't wait to start off the next year with the best content I can provide for you guys. So, thanks again for watching. Let me see the. Uh, I I mean, I honored this guy even though I was pissed at him. That's okay. Eight K, almost nine K damage. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe. See y'all next year. Yeah, next year. Peace.